after cut is where the edges of the well get cut into where the plate is melting it away creating a groove down each side of the run. Our sole focus is controlling the travel speed and pause times and that heat input so that we can keep achieving a flat and uniform weld. Filling too high on this pass risks losing the edge making it harder to see and potentially causing that capping run to become uneven as we progress up the joint. We're using the same amperage at 110 and exactly the same motion as we move up the joint with the sole aim of keeping that weld profile flat. When we move on to the capping pass we're going to demonstrate two methods, one continuing with our weave and the second using a stringer bead technique. With that run complete we can now move on to our capping run. As you can see we've left the edge in place from that previous flushing run which makes that line of the weld clearly visible which gives us a lovely guide to follow and helps ensure that that capping run stays straight up either edge. So we're running the same amperage as before, we're running 110 amps. The only difference in technique now is we need to make sure the capping run sits slightly over flush giving us that reinforcement without cutting into the sides of the plate. To achieve that we'll just pause a little bit longer on each side before moving across the run. Once complete the weld should look something like this with a good reinforcement and a consistent welding profile that's over flush and fully fused into both edges. 